What the fuck going on, boy? We out here reporting live after a great first week of football, huh? Um, week one games, those were a hit, uh, going into Monday, only two games were, like, already decided, uh, Couch's win over JC, and Fuck Me and Tube's, uh, narrow four-point victory over Ruben's Cowboy Emojis, um, only needing eight from Amara St. Brown, unfortunately, uh, and very surprisingly, he got about half of that and, and whopping four points out of the guy. So, tough week one for Ruben. I was up by about 19 against Cody going into Monday. Uh, George Kittle would have needed to drop 20, uh, but came away with just eight. Giving me the win. Uh, 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 you know, <laughs> I think it's going to be interesting to see how Cody does. After not starting off 8-0 this year. <laughs> you can't you can't see the pain in my eyes. Ben needed just 14 out of San Fran's defense and Debo to beat Dumbfuck. Um He did did that. Uh and more, winning by nine. Uh it could be Ben's only win of the season, so uh, go ahead and make sure you congratulate him on this performance. Yeah, I think we were all rooting for Timmy's kicker uh, to drop 13 points and complete his comeback win against Communist Spinel. He dropped one. Serves you right for auto-drafting, really. I, in fact, you should just write about this in your fan fiction at the end of the year. Fuck you, Tim. So we've arrived at what I'm going to call the uh, shit show of the week. Um, this was a neck and neck game between two opponents who would have lost by double digits to literally anyone else in the league. Uh, Danny found himself down with 45.5 to Trevor's whopping 86.6 .6 going into Monday. Trevor had no one else to play. Um... But Danny still had some heavy hitters. Uh, he had Brock Purdy, Brees Hall, and Garrett Wilson. No easy task when you're t uh, down 41, but it's still manageable. Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall combined for 30 points. So I know what you're thinking. It is uh, it's good night, uh, Trevor. Um, anyways, you know where this is going. Uh, Brock Purdy dropped 10.34. He needed 11. Then he lost by .48. No jokes. I, that one's just painful. Anyways, now on to our game of the week. It was Alex and Christopher in a two-point battle. Alex had the lead in that. He still had Christian McCaffrey left to play against Christopher's just Jake Moody. Uh, the San Francisco kicker, for those of you who don't know. Now, you may be thinking, this game is over, but McCaffrey's hurt. Unfortunately for Chris, Alex did have his kicker, no pun intended, uh, and started Mason instead, who had a career day, posting 22.2 .2 points, pretty much wraps for Christopher. Now cue the Jake Moody legacy game. This man dropped 26 points, coming off six field goals, two PATs, and two of those field goals coming in the fourth quarter, ultimately giving the lead 
in the final minutes of the game <laughs> and winning Christopher the game, moving last year's champion to 0-1 to start the new year. Is it not just tradition for Christopher to uh, be predicted to lose and not lose? We have news that Ben's SAT scores have come back. Uh, he did manage in 1140. A fantasy championship probably isn't in your future, Ben, but uh, with scores like that, who knows? Maybe a university is? Although it is probably a good thing that uh, Fantasy Trade Science wasn't uh, on the SAT this year. Otherwise, he probably would have needed to retake it. There's um, a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and find my uh, rookie Josh McCown card real quick. This motherfucker must still think it's episode one. We ain't doing that sh Derek? Hey, Fennel. Uh, you know this violates the restraining order, right? Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go. Yeah. Hey, wait! You know the police are on their way too, right? Cheap move by Fennel, uh, using the old jail tactic to try to beat me this week. Uh, well, guess what, motherfucker? I don't have to report back to the courthouse until next Wednesday, bitch. Anyways, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get on with Clown of the Week. Brought to you by Jameson Irish Whiskey. So, I've debated having Clown of the Week at all, um, because not much is really going on. And I also don't know how else I'm going to fit in our sponsorships. Uh, anyways, Clown of the Week this week goes out to the Miami Police Department for detaining their city's best receiver on game day. I mean, do, do you know how much money this guy makes? I mean, what are you even planning to accomplish? Obviously, this guy's just playing Hill in his fantasy game or something. Uh, that plan obviously backfired as he most likely lost that game in the same fashion that he lost his job. <sighs> Anyways, I say all that to also say that Zach Hollis deserves an honorable mention here, uh, at the very least. In some positive news for the league, uh, Christopher Dawes' ongoing 2022 case for serial assault has been dropped due to lack of evidence after all three of the defense's key witnesses mysteriously went missing. I imagine we'll be talking about this again soon. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get on with predictions and, uh, call it a day, you know? Before this video somehow becomes 30 minutes long. We got the classic matchup, Derek versus Fennell. Um, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and get the Lakeland Booth, the edge with a 51-49. We got, uh, former Pap Schmear versus Cody. Um... Yeah, I'm going to have to give Team Derek the 58-42 odds here. Um, I know Cody played well last week, but uh, I don't know. I don't make the predictions, man. We've got the brother matchup. Trevor Sr. versus Trevor Jr. going at it this week. Uh, I'm going to have to give Luke the edge, though, with a 54-46. We got Dan versus Alex. Two powerhouses in the league. Um, unfortunately, I do not... I should word that more carefully. Uh, Danny's having a rough patch right now, and he'll bounce back, but not right now. Uh, I got Alex with the 60-40 odds. We got Zach versus Couch. Uh, I cannot believe I'm about to say what I'm about to say, but I'm going to go ahead and give Dumbfuck the edge in this game. With 52-48 odds, it should be a good one. We got Ruben versus Timmy. Um... I do not believe in Ruben's team right now. I'm sorry, Ruben. Uh, you got 38-62 odds. I'm giving Timmy the win. And finally, we have Christopher versus JC. Um, 
I know I was talking shit about JC's team last week, but I do think he's going to beat Christopher still. Uh, I got JC with the 55-45 odds. Well, that was certainly um, another report. Anyways, tune in next week. Sure, we'll get that uh, Fennel interview. Uh, Godspeed from the cock, 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 and speed from the cock and cock orchard organization. Good luck to everyone. Except for now. Pick him anymore. Don't that, give me that baloney. That's what you're giving me, baloney. Oh, it's, I'm not going to pick Chris. I don't want to. Baloney. <laughs> All right, well, let's go to the next topic. Okay, then. Let's go. The bum, he's trash, and you know it. Okay, so here's what I know. Hip stop. Go ahead. Last year with Tyreek Hill. Get right now. Hey, stop it. Because I'm gonna have that you. I'm lying about that. Take me out, coach. We ain't gonna talk about his Take head. me out. It's my turn. The football. I want to apologize for my behavior. No, I, you can't get away with that. Sorry. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute. No. What are you I talking don't care. about? I'm a hater. Sorry. I don't talk to anybody. For 16 months, I'm out. What the hell is going on here? I well, criticize him. Okay. Criticize him. It works. I want something that's free. <laughs> Hell you go to Costco and uh. free the sample. Uh. Be the sample. Answer the year. What's up? Get on week. Hey, here says the man. Get on week. 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 Get on for 16 months, I'm out.